So I'm going to show you how to transfer NFT items and SFL into your Sunflower Land game, your Sunflower Land plot right here. And we're going to be looking at a few tools that we can use to help maximize our buying power. So we're going to look at SFL tools first. This is a website that allows you to snipe NFTs that you're looking to buy. If you are looking to buy wood, any of this, sunflower, potato, pumpkin, you can come on over to unit price, no higher than, I always like to do one SFL, and you do start sniping. You can see that they are selling 500 wood for 59 SFL. And then you can compare that price to the price of wood over at OpenSea. If you were to see that this wood right here is 9.76 Matic, we can see that SFL 59 SFL comes out to be about 9.16 Matic. I did a 65 because you got to take into consideration the goblin fee that will be taken when you transfer items over to your sunflower plot. So if you come to the goblin island and you click on the trade, the guy in the blimp, you can go to buy. And then you can see in the SFL tools that it gives you the land ID. You copy that. And then you can just come on over here to visit land. Let it load here. And then it should tell you what is being sold by this land ID. So now you can see what is being sold by land ID and the goblin fee here. So you always got to take that into consideration when you are trying to buy an NFT off a marketplace or directly from Sunflower Land. When you come over to the Sunflower Land OpenSea verified account page here, we can see some of the NFTs that are being sold. So if this is the route you wanna take, it's an easy way of doing it is if I wanna get wood, I can look. If you wanna see listing prices here. Usually you need to go to ones that are about a month old. Uh, these are the newer ones. Some of these up here don't work most of the time. And you want to see the quantity too. So you want to buy in bulk because you are going to be paying some gas fees in order to get this over. Once you have your NFT on over in your wallet, you can go and do transfer. You have to be looking at your NFT, click on transfer, and it's going to ask you for a destination address. Here we can find on Goblin Island within the bank. You need to be level five in order to even see this, but here you can actually deposit and withdraw. So your deposit address is the address right in here. This address will be the recipient address of any transfers you initiate, whether it's from your personal wallet or from a marketplace like OpenSea or Nifty Swap. My favorite way of getting SFL tokens is coming to QuickSwap. We can see the price of SFL is around 10 cents right now. So these are some good indicators on how to just make sure you're getting the most bang for your buck. Like I said, when we were back on OpenSea, we were able to see the price of comparing our SFL tools. Is 60 SFL worth 500 wood? compare it to somebody selling it on open sea and then you got to take into consideration of the goblin fees and the gas fees usually gas fees on open sea transferring your nfts to the island is very small that's why we use a layer 2 solution like polygon but that's going to do it for this video if you have any questions let me know in the comments below i will help you out or come on over to the juice team discord and come over to the Juice News on Twitter and give us a follow here. We pump out daily content on this. And this is a beautiful, beautiful way to stay informed on everything blockchain gaming. I'll see you guys in the next video.